I'm going to be showing you how to tie-dye. These are a few of the things that I have made. It's pretty easy and fun, so let's look at the materials. This is a tie-dye kit. They normally come from pretty much any craft store or Amazon. You can get them with gloves, rubber bands, and the dye. And occasionally they come with this plastic and that's to protect it from getting like dirt all over it when you're on the ground but if they don't we'll take care of that later this is a few of the dye colors that you can buy most of mine are from the brand tulip and all they include is a powder in the bottle and then you add warm water to it until you get the fill line and then shake i've had these dyes for a while now i bought them in a big kit and Every time I use them, they turn out great. You just need to make sure that you are shaking them very well before you use them. The other materials that you're gonna need to tie-dye are your material and a squirt bottle with water or a sink that you can dunk the fabric in. Here are some materials that you can use instead of other materials that would come in a kit. If you get the like package dye, you can get these instead. Um, a scissors and a string can replace the rubber bands, and a grocery bag can replace the plastic. There are many techniques to folding your material, and it depends on what you're doing. Like, if it's a shirt or a blanket, or I'm doing socks today, and so I'm going to show you how I folded them. I start off by taking the edge and folding it up, flipping it over, folding it back, flipping it back up. And you're going to do this accordion style fold all the way up until you finish. Once this is done, take your rubber bands and section off the pieces that you want to be different colors. I'm doing three colors today, so another one's going to go here. When you're sectioning off the pieces, you want the rubber bands to be as tight as they can go because this will create sharper lines of white. Next, you want to take your spray bottle and squirt down the um, fabric with pretty much a good full layer of water. This is going to help the dye stick to the fabric and make it last longer. Take the dye and fabric outside and set it in the plastic bag. Begin pouring your dye and making sure the nozzle gets in every crack to get the best color throughout the fabric. Set it in a sunny area on the bag and let it dry completely. When it is dry, take off the rubber bands. If the fabric is too wet, you can wash it, but it is going to take away from the dye's lifespan on the fabric. If it is dry and not full of dye, place them in the dryer for one cycle. 